Hi, I'm Dr. Cindy Ross, and today we are talking about immunity and gut health. As we head into the holidays, we want to make sure that we are staying clear of COVID, the flu, and RSV. Almost always, patients are asking me how to improve their immunity. You cannot have good immunity with poor gut health. The digestive system contains more than 70% of the body's immune system, which means a large majority of the immune system resides in our gut. Much of the body's immune response depends upon the gastrointestinal microbiome, and understanding its complexities and potential therapeutic targets is essential, particularly in times of stress when risk of infection increases. Changes in the gut composition induced by diet, alcohol, or antibiotic intake, or due to pre-existing genetic factors can lead to dysbiosis. If your digestive, digestive system becomes damaged, you are at risk for low immunity, which means more sickness. Dysbiosis may lead to increased gut permeability, also known as leaky gut. The protective barrier inside your digestive system is supposed to control what is allowed into your bloodstream. And when that barrier isn't as tight as it should be, it can let unwanted, unwanted substances through causing gastrointestinal disorders, uh, autoimmune disorders, inflammation, type 2 diabetes, lupus, irritable bowel syndrome, and much more. What damages our gut health? Well, there's a variety of factors leading to poor gut health. Overuse of antibiotics, overuse of NSAIDs, too much alcohol, exposure to heavy metals and pesticides, diet. If your diet isn't as healthy as it should be, then your immune system won't function as well. Smoking, lack of exercise, stress, poor sleeping habits, all of these can wreck your gut. I'm sure you're wondering how to improve gut health. Well, your diet is gonna be key in staying away from inflammatory foods such as processed sugar and refined grains, which can wreck your digestive health. Your diet should contain a variety of colorful vegetables and protein-rich foods. If you have poor gut health, many times the foods that you eat will become a trigger, and that is when an elimination diet should be implemented. I would also recommend keeping a food journal to see which foods are causing you issues. Foods that you may consider eliminating would be pork, dairy, eggs, soy, corn, gluten, sugar, peanuts, alcohol, and caffeine. But listen, I know you're saying I cannot give these up, but once your gut is healed, you can slowly add these back into your lifestyle. Also, your supplement regimen should contain a physician-grade probiotic and digestive enzymes. It's really important to learn what you are deficient in by doing a functional blood chemistry analysis to ensure that you have optimal gut health. Remember, taking small steps to improve your diet can create big changes in your digestive health and immune system. If you have any questions or if you're ready to get started, contact my office at 251-949-2220 or email me at cindy at drcindyross.com.